<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Salem Mars Ray here, and today I got a rant. And rarely do I have rants now, but I still do. Now this rant's going to be talking about YouTube Red, and about how they constantly keep on trying to push it on you. See, apparently there are some people on YouTube who are unhappy with the advertisements or the commercials or whatever you want to call them that play sometimes before, during, and after the videos or show up actually on the bottom of the channel. People who want some type of a liability with YouTube, so YouTube decides to make YouTube red. Now wait, if you think YouTube red is just like the normal YouTube, you're wrong. First off, According to some people, it's only $10 a month, but we really don't know because we, because those people never really read it. They're just making up stuff. And actually, the only thing on YouTube read are partner videos and television shows and motion pictures, and that's about it. It's just basically just YouTube's version of the, of the streaming part of Netflix or Hulu or Amazon or Vudu. Or using Crockle, for example. And now there's going to be idiots that think, oh, well, I get a liability of YouTube. Yeah. Only a liability if the video doesn't play. If you can't sign in, can't sign out. You know, you can't pay for the video. You have problems paying for the video. That's it. They ain't going to give you a liability for videos getting up, uh, being stuck in uploading and stuck in processing. You can't upload on YouTube Red unless you're a partner or unless you are some motion picture company or television show company and you got some streaming agreement with them. So you ain't going to be seeing people like us on YouTube Red. I assure you that. Even with our 932 or 931 subscribers that we worked hard to get. Okay. Personally, I just happy with being on normal, the normal YouTube. People who want YouTube Red, fine, that's theirs. But I'm not going to have anything to do with it, okay? Because you don't know Google or you don't know YouTube's a liability, what they're liable for with YouTube Red. I assume they're probably liable for if you have problems paying for the video, problems, you know, you know, problems signing in or signing out in the account, problems watching the video, that's probably it, you know. But they keep on trying to shove it on you. At least every time I come on YouTube, there's always got to be right on the side of my channel the stupid YouTube red thing that I don't want and I'm never going to sign up for. And if that upsets some people, oh well. If you think I don't have the right to criticize YouTube Red, well, that's way too bad. Okay. Now, I have no problem with YouTube trying to make a streaming service on the side. That's fine. Okay. But when you try to, but when you, when you're, well, point is, it's okay if they want to do it. Anybody wants to sign for the service, fine. You're taking your own risk. Me, I personally want nothing to do with it, and I just want to stick to their normal YouTube. Yeah, they're not a liability one, you know. At least I know what I'm getting into. Some of these people don't know what they're getting into, though. Okay? And I just think, I just think it's kind of dumb, in my opinion, to keep on putting something on the side of my channel that I'm never, ever going to sign up for. Okay? That's just me. And some of you people out there can try to defend YouTube Red if you want. You can claim, oh, it's only $10 a month, but you know what? Come back to me when you actually read all the terms and conditions of using the YouTube Red service and the price and who has a liability and what you're liable for. Okay? I'm Salem Mars Ray, and I hope you enjoyed this video.